All right, let's light the candle on this thing. How's everyone doing tonight? How, are we having fun? Welcome to the Washington State Legends of Soccer uh, salute. It's uh, Brian Schmetzer, This Is Your Life. You'll never guess who we have here to talk to Schmetz. You never will guess who all's here. It's just amazing. Uh, my name is Mike Gastineau, and I'm, you know, this word gets thrown around a lot, but I'm, I'm honored to be the MC for this event tonight. And I think this is just another great example of what the sport of soccer does different from any other sport. Because teams win championships, and they don't bring the trophy to the neighborhood soccer bar. But in soccer, that's exactly what you do. And that's, it's so cool that it's here. The Sounders bringing it here. It's another piece of hardware. And, you know, it seems that that would be an appropriate time to thank John Bayless and his staff here at the Market Arms, the support they give this sport. There's so many great soccer events here. John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, when I, did, when I did my book several years ago, John was kind enough to do an interview with me, and then we did the book launch party here, and then we did radio shows here. He is such a supporter of, you know, particularly soccer, but really all sports in this community. And, uh, I, you know, I've never figured it out. From his accent, I think he might be from Alabama. I know he's not from around here. But they're great at what they do for this sport, and we thank them. Uh, the season starts on, you know, what, Saturday, this weekend, right? And here we go with a big event tonight, and then a big event tomorrow night down at Memorial Stadium, the, uh, the Zach Scott testimonial match. This is, and I, I don't want to go too far off script, but this is a true story. Someone came up to me last week and said, why are they having a Zach Scott memorial match? I said, well, they've kept it quiet, but... No, it's going to be a fun match. Um, I talked to Casey Keller today, and he's particularly excited to play goal on a night when there's going to be so much defense played. <laughs> so watch him get peppered. Uh, tickets are, are uh, they're darn cheap. They're affordably priced, and it's a great match. It's, uh, it's going to benefit three things, a pediatric brain tumor research fund, uh, the Seattle Sounders Rave Foundation, and a college fund for Zach and Alana Scott's three children. Zach gave a huge part of his life to this team and to this community and it's great that they're sending him out the right way tomorrow night. That's fantastic. And as if that's not enough, on Saturday night it's Tacoma Stars Legend Night at the Showware Center in Kent. The Stars are playing San Diego. There's a playoff berth on the line. Uh, there'll be an autograph session both uh, from the Stars and other Washington legends starting at 5. First kick is at 6 p.m., and that's at the Showware Center on Saturday night. So it, it's cool. Here, you know, here there's this championship now. The MLS Cup is finally here in Seattle. And now the defense of the Cup starts this weekend, and there's all these great events leading up to it. So, again, great to have you all here. If we could get everybody's attention for a moment now, because I'd like to introduce our first speaker from the Washington State Legends of Soccer, Doug Andreessen is here. Doug, come on up. Thank you very much, appreciate that. My name is uh, Doug Andresen, and uh, I'm president of the Washington Legends of Soccer organization. We formed in 2014, we're an all volunteer group. We have produced since that date, three exhibits, one at the 90, one at the Hall of Fame induction, and we've conducted on camera interviews with legends for use in later projects. We've grown our social media following via Facebook and Twitter, so look for us on our feeds on there. Our goal is to unite all of soccer from across our state, from youth, adult, ethnic, college, and pro, women and men, all associations, uniting us to honor, preserve, and celebrate our collective past. By doing so, it's gonna help inspire our future. We have exciting plans coming up for the Washington State Legends of Soccer, so I want you to look for those social network sites and so you can see our events. We're talking about an online museum, we're talking about a mobile unit, 
a YouTube, we're creating a YouTube uh, site where you can look at all of our archival in uh, interviews and stories about our legends, and hopefully someday an all-encompassing state hall of fame where we can come together to honor our best. Think that's big, bringing this community together both virtually and reality. We're made up of people who love this game from many backgrounds, many of our legends in their own right. We all believe that by sharing and highlighting our past, we can help, prevent, we can help future generations drive Washington to still higher levels of achievement and deeper love for this beautiful game. Earlier this month, we filed our application for our 501c3, and so on the tables you will see some cards that Joe will talk about here a little bit later as well. We would love to have you get involved in our organization. Many of you in this hall tonight have got pictures, historical information, you've got jerseys, you've got balls. We need to know about those things so we can help preserve those. But a big part of tonight is about community. And it's about connecting with who we are and what we do. And let me tell you one my little Brian Schmetzer story. So I'm wearing my golden scarf. The night I got my golden scarf was the night that Brian Schmetzer got his MLS home game win. Did we determine that was your first home game? Was that your first home game win? I was subbing for Sig. You were subbing for Sig? Yeah, I was like you. Okay, so it was his first MLS home game win when he was subbing for Sig at that time. I was granted my golden scarf that night. And so on the wall in my house, I've got a picture of the scarf. Quirky took the picture, and I got a picture of Brian Smesher with me that night. So that connection to community just continues to grow and develop, and that's what we're all about is those connections. Our sport, our game is about the love of the game and those who we connect with. So with that being said, I'm going to hand it off to, uh, to Joe. Thank you, Doug. What a night this is, huh? Something else. Who would have dreamed we'd be celebrating this tonight? More importantly, we'd be celebrating Brian's life. What, a, what an icon you've become as a coach in the state of Washington. I remember Alan Hitton saying at one of our meetings, if you win the championship, you will be known as the top coach ever to come out of this state. So congratulations to you. How many of you were with us about three months ago at the 90, watching the movie Bobby? So not a lot of you. So we've got a lot of new faces here tonight, which is great. The whole idea behind this organization is we want to, as Doug mentioned, recognize the legends of Washington State soccer, of which Brian definitely is. But there are a number of you in the audience tonight. And we can't do that without your financial support. So they asked me as the banker to ask for your money, right? It makes sense. Our plan is to, as I say, have an event about every three months. In order to put those events on, it needs financial support. As you can see tonight, there was no cover charge, no entry fee. It was first come, first serve. We want you to be here to celebrate with us. But we do have these cards that we talked about. So if you could take one of these cards with you, we've got them also by the door on the way out. So if you don't have one, Tafara's got them back there. You can pick one up from her. These cards allow us to be able to continue to sponsor events like this and to recognize our heroes, our local heroes like Brian. So I want to thank you here for being here tonight. And let's get on with this event. Thank you. Very good. Joe Zavalia, and I'll just echo what he said. You know, this sport, again, it's a unique sport. You compare it to other sports, and there are a lot of things that just don't compare. And it's sensational in my mind that there is now an organization kind of putting an umbrella over the entire state of Washington, all the great players who have come here, the great coaches who have worked here, Cliff, great to see you out there. I mean, just again and again, there's so much history with this sport in this state. Here's a tangible way you can support that by making a little donation tonight, and helping this organization thrive and, and setting ourselves up to have more events like this. Okay, here's the format for Brian Schmetzer, This Is Your Life. 
You'll never guess who all we have here tonight. You'll never guess. It's, it's a bunch of surprises. Uh, we have eight live guests. We have two tributes via video. Once we get rolling with the first guest speaker, you'll hear a little bit about Brian, and then they'll come up here, and we'll talk for a few minutes and kind of relive some memories, and hopefully you'll learn a lot of things and hear a lot of stories, and maybe some of them you've heard, maybe some of them you haven't, but it should be a really fun evening. Uh, our man of the hour uh, is born, he once told me he was made in Germany, but born in America, born in Little Lake City, played for the Lake City Hawks, he played for Nathan Hale back when playing for Nathan Hale wasn't as cool as it is now. Uh, he joined the NASL Sounders as a kid at his very first practice, as I recall, he got knocked ass over tea kettle. Welcome to the bigs. He traveled around the country. He played in St. Louis. He played in San Diego. He played in Tulsa. But he always came back to Seattle. And whenever there was a team here and a league here, he was here to be a part of it. Uh, he was a part of the original Sounders, FC Seattle. He played with the Tacoma Stars. He was on the A-League Sounders. He was on the Seattle Sea Dogs. Huh? The, pardon me, the CISL champion Seattle Sea Dogs. Uh, in 2001, he was named the head coach of the Sounders. They won four trophies, two league championships. And then uh, when the uh, MLS came, he was uh, top assistant when Ziggy Schmidt was named the head coach. And Schmidt served that role for seven years. And then at a time, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe it overuses the word crisis, but in a time when the wheels were coming off, he stepped to the front, and oh, now it looks like a great decision, but at the time, you're taking over a team that's really struggling, and we know what happened. It's one of the most remarkable things I ever saw in sports, to see a team that's you know, darn near getting its death rights, and they get up off the mat, and they start winning, and they forget how to lose, and they keep winning, and the next thing you know, it's March, and we've got a giant, shiny cup here, and we had a huge parade, and that doesn't happen by accident. That's hard work and guts and faith and belief, and it was remarkable to watch. It's one of the great stories we've ever seen in this city. So on that note, let me bring up here, get him a microphone so he can get a couple words in edgewise. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the head coach of the Seattle Sounders, Brian Schmetzer. Schmetz? Thanks. Yeah. Do I, do I have to tell stories about myself? No, no. Well, Pete could take over. You'd be, you'd be pretty good at it, but we'd be here all night. You're not bad with a mic, though. I, I want to say congratulations. I want to say, you know, you and I, we go back, it was like, I think it was about 2002, and I, as I recall, I think Adrian Hanauer called me off the air and, and introduced himself and said, hey, we got this, this soccer team, and we'd love to come on your show occasionally. And we started having him on, and we had you on. And I want to say, you guys were always great, and Graz and I, we didn't know much about soccer, and we would joke around with you. We always referred to you being in the Brian Schmetzer Orchestra, and you, you played along with us, and you had fun. And in all honesty, we probably didn't give the sport the respect it should have been given at that time, but we loved you as a guy. We thought, this guy's neat. It wouldn't be great if they have success, and lo and behold, you did. But, but thanks all those years ago for being willing to come on and, and have fun with us when maybe we didn't know as much. And uh, now we know a lot more. And one thing we know is you're really, really good at your job. So congratulations. Thanks. And we'll reciprocate, Mike, because Mike's been a great soccer supporter. His book is out there. And he comes and does these events on the behest of Gary Wright, one of the most important people in the room. And yes, Adrian and I were pretty young and foolish back then, but we did OK. Hey, don't, don't give it okay. away. Nobody knows he's here yet. Don't oh, give it away. Okay. It's, this All is right. your life. OK. All right. Uh, just a quick thought. What do you think about all this? Could you have ever envisioned this? It's embarrassing. This? It's embarrassing. <laughs> this is awkward and embarrassing, but uh, thanks and well, thank you, it's not. Thank you. It's My not, wife's here. Christine's yeah. here, so i got to say thank you to her, too, for coming out. That's good. That's smart. Move. It's not often as the MC you get told by the guest of honor, this is awkward and embarrassing. So here we go. Yeah. It's going to get worse. Uh, <laughs> Let's get, our, let's get our first guest. We'll, we'll come back here into the backstage area, and we'll meet our first guest. You'll never know who he is. See if you recognize this voice from your past. Uh, uh, give us an anecdote or something about Schmetz. All right, so first, first off, um, I have to say, Washington Legends 
for sure, but this is a young man. Like, this guy has a lot of coaching in front of him, so I hope there's a, uh, like a, um, you know, triple gold star arena for, uh, for Mr. Schmetzer someday. Uh, okay, I'm not in hiding anymore. Yeah, so is that? Adrian Hanauer. There you go. So, uh, so, you know, just the one, the one thing many of you have heard before is uh, that in late 2001, we found ourselves looking for a, for a head coach for the USL Sounders and uh, did a lot of due diligence, talked to a lot of people about uh, character because uh, that was the most important thing we wanted in, uh, in a head coach uh, and uh, made a couple of calls to this uh, character named Brian Schmetzer uh, and uh, didn't get a call back for like a it week. It was busy. He was busy framing like three a house. jobs. And uh, I started thinking to myself, I wonder if I have the right character. Um, but thankfully, uh, thank, you know, thankful to uh, my personal, uh, my life uh, over the years, I've, I've worked with Schmetz, uh, thankful to the city, thankful to the Sounders for uh, Brian returning that call, uh, eventually sitting down, having a coffee, uh, again, most of you know, he thought I wanted uh, to hire him to run our camp program. Um, but, uh, but in fact, I wanted Brian to be the head coach of the USL Sounders. Uh, I, you know, one thing I thought of today, Schmetz, is that uh, in the eight years we've worked together uh, as you, uh, you as head coach, I've uh, been to four championships. That's a pretty freaking good That's record. That's pretty good. So... Three wins and, and one, uh, one second place. So I apologize for giving you uh, pay cuts all those years. Um, <laughs> I might tell that story later. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. Adrian, let me ask you a question. It's always kind of intrigued me. When you're making the jump to MLS and there's a discussion on who we're going to have as the head coach, and certainly Schmetz would have been worthy of consideration and was considered, you brought in Ziggy, and it worked out. And Ziggy didn't win a championship, but a great foundation was laid, and then Brian steps in and finishes the job last year. But talk about that, because it had to be in the back of your mind that maybe Schmetz is going to leave if, if we ask him to be the assistant. His loyalty at that point was, I thought, really showed through. And talk about that decision. Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was a brutal decision. Uh, agonized over it. Uh, Schmetz is, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm curious. What, yeah. oh, how did that really go? <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for asking that question. Uh, I'm just going to sit back here and listen. <laughs> it's kind of hot in here. Uh, 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 so, Ziggy was the right choice, though, by the way. Well, so you did okay. So, so um, you know, big time franchise. Uh, Owners that, you know, I had partners, was not the majority owner of the team at that time. Uh, and, you know, again, if I'm honest, I think Schmetz's knowledge of MLS at that time was not super high, fair to, fair to say. Um, and ultimately, we just, you know, leaned towards uh, Ziggy and trying to make a, a big statement early on. Uh, I think we would have been equally successful uh, with Schmetz as a head coach. Maybe we'd have won championships. Uh, along the way, um, but I guess the, the part I'm most proud of is that we, you know, we talked a lot along the along the way and said, you know, there, as as Brian knows, like coaches, like someday, you know, most coaches end up end up leaving, and and we had communicated that, uh, you know, he was going to be our first, second, and third choice if that happened, and and. Uh, and again, I'm not sure that always, those sorts of promises always come true either. So, um, couldn't be happier. I'm very that. lucky I have a great boss. Let's just put it like that. I have a good boss. And the main reason I wanted to ask that question was to kind of reiterate the idea of loyalty. And he talks about it. He's loyal to the club. He says, I'm loyal to Adrian to an extent. I'm loyal to the players. I was loyal to Ziggy when I was an assistant. But I'm loyal to the club first and foremost. That was never proven better than your decision to say, oh, I will stay here and I'll be an assistant. I'll take a step back to, for the greater good of everything. And it worked out great. Adrian, nice work. Congratulations on the championship. Good job.